Okay, this is good. Uh, good morning. I, uh, from your assignment from last week, uh, all pretty good. Really good uh, uh, progress. 新年好, actually, here. You will see the. Um, First tone, second tone, third, third tone is a very good practice for, for this three tone together. Xin, nie, hao, nan, nan, first, second, four, fourth. Xin, nie, kuai, le. You want, you want to build up a habit, use your hand, at least for the first three months to connect your movement with your mind, with your pronunciation here. Actually, everybody comes with this gift when you're very young. So think about when you're, when you're, you're a little boy, a little girl, you don't have all those concepts about how to pronounce, how to, you just mimic. That's actually a gift from heaven. Then when we grow up, when we learn a lot of the things, then we forget. We're living in a concept. So go back, trying to get off this really fundamental primary capability, a gift, back. So just mimic. Uh, this all sign here is just to, uh, just uh, a reminder for your, for your tone. Uh, 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 uh. If you don't need to really uh, look into this pinyin, this is just a very, very uh, primary tool for you to start. If you don't need this, if you're trying to mimic and remember the sound pronunciation tone, and also how to do it here and how to think over here or in your heart here, no matter what. Forget about this thing. And this is just a reminder for the uh, 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 right? Um, it's a new habit, at least for this first three months. You, when you do this, you, you, you use a hand gesture to help, to remind you the tone. Where to go? Flat, up, down, or take a turn, right? 日月星, the four, four, one. 日月星, 日, uh, a few of you still need a little bit of work on it. Like Robert. 日, not 日, 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 yeah. 日, and you, yeah, you want to make it 日, then and it wouldn't go 日 like this. Huh? 日, yeah. 日, 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 not, not, uh, yeah. Focus more on, on the front of your mouth. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. 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 Xing, tian, di, ren. These are all good. All good. Now, we're getting you a more thing to speak. This time, uh, most of you learned this already. So, which is kind of just a review. Ni hao, like, hello. Ni was a you. Ni, that, yeah. if you say it slow, it, it should be pronounced both third tone, but when you say it very quick, short, this first third tone word will turn sound like close to the second tone. And, and in the modern uh, teaching, Chinese language teaching, they said, you just change it to second tone. If very fast, it, it could be just like second tone. Actually, it's in between second and third because it's still third, third tone. Because you, I, we said a third tone has meaning. Every tone has meaning. The first tone and second tone is kind of open up flat. Yeah, it's far, distance wise, it's far. But the third tone, distance wise, is close. That's the first uh, uh, layer of meaning. A second layer of meaning of the third tone is make some. Change the direction, mm -hmm. right? So we'll get into that more. Okay. So in the uh, ni hao, mm -hmm. then you make it shorter as a ni hao. Then, yeah, it's more sound like a second tone, but it's uh, actually still your your in your concept in your mind still third tone, but just make it a oh, second. yeah uh, uh, the transition quicker. Ah, uh, ni hao hello. Ni hao, follow me. Great. Good. Ni hao. Great. Okay. All right. Uh, then another one is good morning. 
this is morning. This is a morning zhao, actually. <laughs> uh, the, together is morning. <clears throat> and this one alone could be morning too. This is uh, up. We are going to learn this character right after this. Well, zhao. Yeah, shang. Shu, the first first tone. Shang. Shang. The first tone. Oh, so remember, oh, you need to uh, for the newcomers. You need to reestablish the uh, the tone. Uh, yeah, really. Oh, the first tone. Shang. Ah, shang. Good, good, good. Then the same thing. How? So good morning together. Zao Shang. How? Zao Shang. How? One more time. Zao Shang. How? Then you, yeah, you put them together. I can't see you. Huh? How? I can't see you. Can other people see you? Mr. He? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes in and out. Okay. Everything okay. is flipping around, so. Yeah. Yeah, People maybe come it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brand, the band of the internet. Okay. 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 Put it together. Zhao Shang. Zhao Shang. Zhao yeah, then yeah, three, four, three. And then you want to you want to always use a hand at least for the first three months to establish the connection with the hand gesture, the movements. Just to remind you, this is ah, uh, this is ah, uh, this is eh, uh, this is uh, Yeah, you want to always do this until you you don't need to do this and you still get you get the four tones correct. Yeah, make this connection. Uh, don't be shy. You can practice it when you are alone, right? Don't worry. Okay. Uh, evening, good evening is one. One means uh, uh, late, late afternoon or uh, of the evening. One. The set, the third tone too. One. One. <coughs> good. Shang. One. Shang. 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 Good. Great. Great. Okay. Then this one you learn it already. We just practice it. Uh, Force both first tone. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie. If you say it very formally, slow, uh, uh, pretty long, it's xie xie. But in daily life, the second could be uh, weaker. Xie xie. Yeah, emphasize the first one. Xie xie. Yeah. Xie Thank you. Xie xie. Xie xie. If you're really in a very formal situation, you you want to say. Xie xie. Yeah, all both go, go forced to. Okay, let's repeat it one more time. Uh, hello. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay, this one. Zao shang hao. Zao shang hao. Good. Then good evening. Wan Shang Hao. Okay. Zao Shang Hao is good morning. Because you, you, you see the sun here? This is the sun, this is the grass. So this is me this means morning. Yeah, later on, uh, the, uh, the, the sound's going down. Uh, this means, basically, we're getting into that. But for, for the speaking part, you just need to uh, practice how to say it and uh, connect the meaning and, uh, and the speaking together. That would be, that'd be good for the speaking part. Uh, character, we want, we want to can be right and pronounce and understand the meaning. Xie xie. Xie xie. Xie xie. Now, if you want to say it very formal, it's xie xie. You want to emphasize the last one. But it's the order, a regular one is, uh, you know, just, just show you. Uh, thank you. 
，谢谢，谢谢 ，second second tone could be weaker， 谢谢 ，OK， 那那那 I will I will ask um Elizabeth to um writing and、uh, pronunciation short video right after this. So let's move on then. For the new character, three character for the for today, the 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 three one on the upper panel. Shang means up. Shang, yeah, we say 早上晚上 right? Yeah, if you want to say it's in the in the sky, you want to say 天上 We just learn that from 天上 We're gonna get more and more combination later on, right? Don't worry, we practice more and more. You know, don't worry, okay? 天上 means up. Originally, the stroke is like like two. It's like two. And、uh, the upper stroke is shorter. It's like it's like number two, but then say okay, it's confusion. So it's transformed like this, like this. Yeah. Vertical. Vertical stroke, ver、uh, horizontal stroke with a short horizontal stroke.、Oh. Sha is, is opposite. Is that、down. Shang? The same as Shanghai? Yeah, Shanghai. Yeah,、yes. that's the Shanghai. The Shang. <laughs> 天上地上。Then Sha is opposite. See, the opposite of Shang. It's called xia, 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 xia. The fourth tone, xia, 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 xia. Like, like, like you pronounce a、uh, lamb, xia, xia, xia. Like, like,、uh, yeah. You can, you can use this, xia, 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 xia. One more time, xia. Yeah. Good, good, good. And shang, 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 shang. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're learning the.、Uh, remember the one of the connotation by pair, opposite shang and sha, up and down shang sha, right? Okay. Shang, shang, shang. You say it together. Okay. Now the third character we're going to learn today is a、uh, uh, tree. Is it true? Yeah, you, you see, this is the branches. These are roots, right? And transform like uh, uh, from a、uh, uh, oracle broadcasting to、um, Qing Shi Huang style. Then now to nowadays, you you this just help you to understand how the picture transformed to a a character. Then you want to write this, learn how to write this. That will be good enough. This just help you to understand.、Uh, pronounce as Mu. Move. This is easy, right? Move. Cool. Move. 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 Use the hand. Move. 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 Shang. Move. Now here. Shang. Shang. Xia. Xia. Move. Move. All four songs. So you remember always. You forget always. Go back to oh. Mm, mm, you remember you connected the, the your hand gesture with your mind with your tongue. We want to do this, okay? When you、uh, practice along, use your hand gesture. Make this connection at least for the first three months, okay? All right. So then, this is easy to write. This is like okay, song. Shao writing is like this. Moves written like this from left to right, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. Right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah.、Uh, Elizabeth is going to deliver another short video,、mm -hmm. focus on writing and the pronunciation. Don't worry. So you get idea. Now, well, as we said last time, we we only don't want to just、uh, share fish with you. We want to share how to fishing to do fishing. This is fishing. You see, this is a fish. With the water there, it's like walking、uh, on the fish. Ah,、uh, that's、uh, a thing. That's this is actually the English quote. It's not Chinese quote. Chinese quote is different, but、uh, it's 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 better to teach a person fishing than give a dozen of fish. That's how I I want to spend some time to last time I said that already to sh share with you some theory. It it sounds like dry, but、uh, it's a very good. Lay out the foundation for later stage. Okay, Chinese character three perspective all together like three unity, meaning ideographic, the form picture pictographic, or and also phonetic sound pronunciation also come with the tone. Three thing has to be together. 
No, you, you might learn Chinese before, and then the, or currently they teach focus on this, teach you how to uh, speak or how to write. Actually, these three things cannot separate. That's that's the first very fundamental fundamental concept you need to establish uh, with me. Okay, uh, you will you will know, uh, feel, and understand this more and more along the way. Don't worry if you, you if this now is just a concept for you right now. But you just need to have a, a very basic uh, notion here is that the three things always together. You cannot separate it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, we, last time we showed the, uh, the, uh, the sound of uh, music that a short clip of Maria defined how do, re, mi. Yeah, she gave the meaning of a do is a, a dear female, dear re is a drop of golden sound. And uh, another guy, another person, another lady could define do, re, mi as a different meaning. That's what I, what I mean by, uh, the, the defined language. But, uh, Chinese character, Chinese language is defined by higher. From divine, so you cannot change it. You cannot. Uh, you, so another another uh, scholar come here, define different way. You cannot do that. For so that's how French, English, German. Uh, 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 let me just give it as a uh, as an analogy. They define the same kind of alphabet kind of language in different way, but Chinese character <coughs> is defined by higher <coughs> being, so you cannot change it. For example, if you are if you are taught this as fish at the beginning, you will connect this picture as a fish, uh, writing the pronunciation, or define this as a bird. If at the beginning you are you are taught in the primary school like this, you will remember or pronounce it's defined like this. But uh, uh, actually, it's defined as fish like this and bird like this, right? That's you, you can you can you can just change. But in, in Chinese character, you cannot do that. So this is a fish. It's coming from a picture. Mr. He, can you make your cursor a little bigger? It's kind of hard to see. Your... Okay, let me see if I can. And this one is bigger? Okay, this is a fish. Divided from here is a picture. It's a drawing of, of a fish. So you cannot change the fish to, to drawing fish to join a bird. So this is a bird. Right? Meow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. So the pronunciation, yeah. the tone, tone part yeah. has meaning. Yeah. 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 How, how to this pronunciation is meow. Uh, yeah. 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 That's a meow. Okay. So yeah. it's connect together. Is a picture, uh, the picture and the pronunciation, and also the, uh, the, the, the meaning. This is a vo more basic uh, based on the picture. This is a bird. You cannot change this two thing. So that's how I said you cannot change on the human level, but it's defined by higher level. That, that makes sense, right? Okay. <clears throat> so the fish, this is a bird. Yu. Yu, the second tone. Yu, that's a, a fish. And niao. So we don't we don't learn how to practice uh, how to write this, but uh, you, uh, we just give you heads up. And, uh, we meet it once again, again, again. Then we get a, a chance to learn this, then you, and then it become easier. Okay. But today you just focus on the sang, sha, and mu. That would be good enough for for your assignment. Sang is the same thing. If you define this as sang, this is actually is mu. This is sang. Then you're gonna learn this. Uh, in English or in, in, in German, but uh, in, in Chinese, you cannot. Sound is round. And uh, the moon, the most of the time, the moon is just half. It's not full. So it's uh, drawn it's drawing like this. Star, mm -hmm. we, we, we taught last time, right? It's, it's uh, grass, and this is uh, little stars. So you cannot define this thing as sun and this thing as star because it's based on the picture and also pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation wise, uh, we can talk about more of that later. I think in one of the videos uh, made by uh, Elizabeth, the mindset, she, she, she shared a little bit of idea about the how, why the pr uh, pronunciation of 
sa ri why is pronounced ri and why this pronounced yue because it's um you can go back to watch that one xin tu very long okay so quick question does ri also mean like day or is that's right that's right yeah that's also uh ri also may may uh has a meaning like day day why what is that because during the daytime you can see the sun no this is day Oh, that's day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the the uh, the yeah. year, the moon also uh, oh, me yeah. has another meaning means months. Why? Because every thirty day or so, the moon change okay. from here and getting full and getting to the another and then make a circle. So yeah, <coughs> uh, we're getting to that. Okay, is the speed okay, or we need to? I need to slow down a bit. Is the speed okay? Okay, cool. If it is too fast, it's okay. Can you slow down and just yeah, say say it out, right? So it's defined. Chinese language is defined by the god or semi god. His name is Chang Jie. He got two pairs of eyes. In the legend, he got two pairs of eyes. Maybe some of you uh, look at this picture. You find you feel maybe kind of dizzy. If you don't, you're good. Yeah, you are not used to. We are not uh, use a human eyes. Are not used to two pairs of uh, eyes. Actually, in the uh, in the not just legend in in both cultivation in Tao school or on Buddha school, like there is a kind of a Bud Bodhisattva got thousand of hands, and in every palm of the hand there's a there's an eye, like this. So many hands behind her, and she got all the eyes, right in the palm. So it's not just have two pairs of eyes. Could you know, the higher beings, divine being has can can make have a hundred thousand of eyes. That's the holding something. That's Kamo's the... connotation of a, a either Tao school or Buddha school. Yeah, uh, it's higher than human. But uh, this is easier for for human level to understand. Okay. He got two pairs of eye. One pair of eye look in the other dimension in heaven, and two pairs of eye look at whatever in this world. So he unify the picture over there and the picture over here for people to understand and come up with all these characters. That's the legend about how Chang Jie create the uh, characters. So Chang Jie Zhao Zi Zhao means create. Zhao Zi, okay. Create. All right. <clears throat> the, the first uh, way of uh, focus on the pictogram first, the picture side of uh, the one third of this three unity thing. You see the song, Sha, which I learned today. At the beginning, this is a song, this is a Sha, and transform like this, eventually here. This one easier. What is this mean? You can, you can take a imagine. This is a mountain, right? This is the top of a mountain. Mountain, and it come uh, transform like this. This is a mountain. Here, can you see this now, cursor? Can you see the move? No, let, let me still use this thing. This is a mountain. This is a mountain, right? Can you see here? Oh, yes. Then it transforms like this. Uh, what is this for you? River. River. Huh? River. Water. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Water. Yeah. So, so you, you, you see, eh, then you, you, you see the, the wave. And, and the actual of original form could be like this. Then it's, it's simplified like this. And it transforms like this. What do you think about this? Man. It's like a man, right? Man. It's like a, like a human. Walking. But it's a walking. Oh, big yeah. movement. <laughs> Actually, the ordinary meaning of this is big pace of walking. It's not a slow. It's uh, really making effort. So uh, that's pronounced as so. So uh, ordinary meaning is walking very fast. Yeah, because yeah, you see this picture is is making really big effort, <laughs> right? Okay, and this is a tree. We just learned is a mu pronounced mu, but it's a tree. This is this is a, a root. And this is the branches. This, is, yeah, uh, the ground is omitted here. 
So this, this, is, this symbolizes the root, this symbolizes the branch. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, basic idea of a pictogram as a picture. So these things you cannot change because you draw it over there, people understand what it is. Okay. All right. Okay, now I give you one minute. Uh, I think uh, uh, Jack and Tyrus maybe they are better because they are they are, they are know how to to draw uh, fast. And, uh, you know, boys and girls can do that. When we grow up, we forgot how to do that. Give you one minute. You 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 just create based on this uh, principle. You create a a Chinese character, either one. Pick up one horse or elephant or pig or dog or turtle, or jaguar, or tiger. You can grab a paper, i give you one minute to, to create, you, you, you just imagine you are another Changjie, you're creating China's character. Okay, pick up one of this, horse, elephant, pig, dog, turtle, jaguar, or tiger, make it simple, make it uh, quicker and simpler second. How can you do that? That's actually the original one kind of form. How how this character generated uh, for in order for people for human to understand. Yeah, you can just draw it as simple as you can, but uh, have a picture like that. That's the one form of the picto pictogram side of the Chinese character. And then you say, oh, I can do that because you have divine, you have divine side in you. So that's how you, you know that in a way. Okay. All right, good. One minute is up. You see, this is the elephant. Use your this is the elephant and transform to, this is the elephant and transform to like this. And this is a pig. You see? Pig? This is a pig. Oh, oh. Can you see it? No, no, no. We didn't see your cursor. Oh, it's not here. Surrounding. Yes. Okay. And here is the horse. Originally drawing like this and drawing like this. You see? And transform to like this. This is bronze crab. Then eventually go uh, trans transform to like this, riding horse. But in a simplified one, the road are like this. It just lost the, the picture side of it. That's horse. This is a dog. Is, is he on his side? Are they on his side or how yeah. are they? How are they standing? Huh? The elephant. How are these animals standing? They look like they're on their side. Yeah, it could be written like a, the, 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 uh, uh, it could turn 90 degrees okay. like this. But uh, then when, when write it together, you want to make, make it up, upside, up and down and make it line up easier. And originally, actually, the turn could turn a uh, 90 degree down. It's like, oh, okay. uh, yeah. This is dog. 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 You see the barking? The big mouse, ah, 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 right? <laughs> now then change, uh, transform to like this, eventually like this. That's dark. Oh, the turtle is very easy. You see, this, you see the turtle here? There's too many yeah. And turtle here? <laughs> then transform to be like this. Then eventually change to uh, simplify like this. This is actually a simplified version. Okay, now Jaguar. Jaguar has a lot of dots in the body, see? Dot. But is uh, the tiger is similar? Tiger has a lot of uh, not dot, has a lot of uh, uh, stripes in the body, and have the big mouth. Wow! Wow! Yeah. And then eventually, change to be like this, and look like this. That's the pictogram side. How it evolved. So that's how uh, you feel like uh, if you're not familiar. Oh, Chinese character writing is hard. When you have this picture in your mind, uh, when, when you try to practice, it, it get it easier and easier. And um, as we said, well, you just need two thousand words, two thousand character, uh, be recognized, can pronounce it and recognize mm -hmm. it to read almost everything. So, 
you 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 learn all uh more than ten character, mm -hmm. maybe more than fifteen already. We just go step by step. When we get to two hundred, three hundred, there is a stage we're gonna whoosh, we're gonna get to that very fast. But uh, the mm -hmm. first first uh, thirty to four or fifty is harder. You want to really change your mind to to nail down the pronunciation as well as the right uh, written part. Okay, we're getting that. All right. So this this makes sense, right? This is okay. Cool. Okay. It's very different because before it was to be memorizing how many lines and which direction, and they made no sense. And now it just makes sense, so it's much easier. Yeah, you have the picture in your mind. Oh, but this is the head part. This is the tail part. This is the body part, or something like that, right? So like a bird, see, bird like this here, and change to like this. Go eventually like this. Uh, uh, cock or hen, see. Like mm -hmm. from here to here, eventually mm -hmm. transformed like this. Yes, Phoenix is much more complicated. So Phoenix here, here. Yeah. There we go. We can see now. Yeah. Oh. know that one, don't we? Yeah, you see the Phoenix here. I'm sorry. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix here. Then it's transformed from here to here. Yeah, this is a horse. Horse and written like this and transformed to be like this. So you, you see, the four dots actually is legs, legs, and this this hook is a, is a tail. This hook is tail. Okay, all right, I think yeah, that's all for today. Let me see. I just got a real quick question. So, sure. the, those pictograms. The evolution of the, you know, the different stages of the diagrams. Where'd they come from? Like ancient scrolls or temples or? Uh, Oracle is from a turtle shell. Oracle. Oh, and or uh, the bronze bronze casting is from the uh, Zhou Dynasty, which is uh, like uh, 350 to 4,000 years ago. It's cast, in, it's cast on, the, on the bronze, or the, all the big bronze. Then, then, uh, uh, like for example, uh, where is this? Ah, uh, this is a. Uh, this is the uh, original uh, oracle, and this is from the bronze. And this, when the Qin, the first emperor Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor Qin Shi Huang, when he unified China, he said because. Uh, uh, all kinds of different uh, writing, writing form. Said, this need to be unified. Otherwise, the culture laid out in the later stage will be ruined. Will be just like uh, Europe, split it to so many countries, so many different language, make it harder for people to communicate. Said, no, I have to unify this. Said, That's how he did this. Then to Han Dynasty, when Qing Dynasty only lasted for like uh, fifteen years. In Han Dynasty, it transformed to easy, easier form to write. It's now in Tang Dynasty, it's even easier to write. This is Tang Dynasty style. This is Han Han style. Hmm. This is Tang style. This is Qing style. This oh. is a Zhou style, and earlier. Yeah, so they, the emperor, so the emperor standard, standardized them. Standardized them uh, like this. The emperor, yeah. Yeah, the first emperor. So he made a big, very big contribution. Otherwise, uh, China has uh, more than 30 provinces with speaking different tone. If we don't write in the same thing, and also there is an official way of pronunciation throughout the thousand years. If you want to be official in the government, if you want to uh, learn how to read the classics, you have to read, pronounce it in a certain uh, standard form. And, and write in the standard form. Otherwise, you cannot communicate. So that's how in the maintained 5,000 years, at least, the Chinese history, long stop. Now, it, it's, it's a whole entity. It's not. In, in the history, there is a kind of separating, but uh, the whole thing is, is just no discontinuation. Yeah. Linear. Cool. All right. Uh, let me see. Then here is your. Um, Assignment for today, for this week. Again, writing 写字, 
，写是名，写是 right， 字 is character， 写字，哎，写字 ，very good， and these three character， 上下木，下木，呀，啊， then you want to practice speaking， speaking at least ten times until you can say， 对了。新年好呢是 just review， 新年快乐。The put this thing together， 日月星 is up there， all glowing。Then 天地人，来，日月星，天地人，这是 all the all thing you need to uh review。Then the new one， 你好 ，hello。你好。Good， 早上好。早上好，你是早，你是那个早，呃，这样，早，早，早，早，早，早 ，Good， 早上好，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早，早， One, the first one is 早 the second one is 早 You want to pronounce 早早早 Good, good, good. 早上好 That's good morning. 晚上好晚上好呀 Man, thank you. 谢谢谢谢谢谢 Yeah, second second character could be lower, weaker. 谢谢。Yeah, that's a very uh, daily daily uh, daily uh, daily speaking. But when you in a very formal thing, you want to 谢谢 You want to say emphasize the second one. You know, yeah, that's a very formal. But, yeah, or you really want to uh express your gratitude. 谢谢谢谢 And then emphasize the second character. Otherwise, the daily thing is just a thank you and 谢谢 Yeah, so you see, you will emphasize first, emphasize second. It could be a, a different, a different meaning, subtle different between. Them. That's the sermon、uh, for this week. And、uh, any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? And、uh, and you can, you can, you can、uh, for fun. You can go、uh, go ahead to 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 create、uh, some character with a very vivid、um, form, like、um, fish. We learned it already. You can try, dog. You to try.、Uh, you, what you can try,、um, whatever you can come. Next one, in if just for fun, it's not a, it's not a mandate. It's optional. In your assignment, you can. So this is the character I generated. I'm gonna find out the original ancient form. Maybe you are, because you have the divine sign. You know how to do it. But、uh, it's only when it come to the、uh, emperor Ch、uh, Qin Shi Huang said.、That. You all have the same idea, but、uh, everybody is different. We got unified, so that's how we have this uh, uh, short short form here, like short. Yeah. Okay. You can uh, uh, practice on that, and、uh, for for sound tone production, tone wise, tone has meaning, sound has meaning. That is more subtle. We're getting on that on the way, so don't、uh, don't worry if you don't understand or you don't remember. It's okay. But a picture, you have the clear idea. This is the easier one. Yeah.、Uh, let me see what else I need to share with you. I think that's all for today. Any que? Any more questions? Okay. Then that's all for today. Thank you. 谢谢。谢谢大家。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。谢谢。拜拜。拜拜。名字呃，拜拜。还是说拜拜是再见。再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，再见，好，再见，拜。